In today's video, we're going to be talking about and comparing 3 nines fine pure silver to 4 nines fine pure silver and what the difference actually is. And I'm also doing a giveaway in the VIP club and it ends on May 1st, so you only have one day left to join if you want a chance to win. That's all you have to do, simply become a VIP club member. Link in the description if you want to join. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about silver and compare and contrast 3 nines fine to 4 nines fine purity. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there, go check it out, the link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021. It's currently 79 degrees outside and it's just now starting to rain. I'm outside and by the way, this right here would be my office for the day. Beautiful scenery. Why be inside when you can be outside? And by the way, let me know for future videos, would you rather, every once in a while, this be what you're looking at? Still talk about coins. Just let me know. If you'd rather see coins every single day, or would you rather look at some of the nice scenery every once in a while? Let me know. And by the way, as I'm recording the video, the current spot price of silver is $25.97, which means it's down about 21 cents. And gold is $1,768.10, which means it's down $13.40. The current gold to silver ratio, as I'm recording the video, is somewhere between one and 67 and one and 68. Head on down to the comments and let me know what the current spot price is for you as you're viewing the video. Obviously, that's just as I'm filming the video. Who knows what the spot price will be by the time I'm editing, by the time I post, or by the time you're watching the video. So let me know, I'm always curious. So today I wanted to talk about and do a little bit of a comparison between three nines fine silver and four nines fine silver, the two different levels of purity and share a couple of examples of coins from the three nines fine and some from the four nines fine category. So three nines fine silver right off the bat, I'm going to put right here on screen 0.999 because that's what the coins say, 0.999 fine level of purity. If you move the decimal from 0.999 to 99.9, .9, that's kind of how I've always seen it. Instead of three nines fine, in a weird way you can almost say that it's 99.9% .9 pure silver. Almost as pure as it gets. That's how I've seen it. And then we can take a look at four nines fine, where it says point. 9999, once again, if we move the decimal two spaces over, 99.99 .99 would be 99.99% .99 pure silver. So 99.99 .99 versus 99.9 .9 potentially zero, or anything below nine, barely a difference. In fact, the difference is 0.09%. So four nines fine silver coins are 0.09% more pure than three nines fine silver coins. By the way, between the two, I have absolutely no preference. Does it make a bit of a difference to me? I could not possibly care less. It could not be less relevant to me in my opinion and from my perspective. There are plenty of people out there who actually do prefer one over the other and they'll actually avoid the other one altogether for whatever reason. Everyone has different strategies. Everybody's stacking in a different way. Everyone's stacking for different reasons. I've talked to a bunch of people out there who refuse to stack three nines fine silver coins. They say, no, I want four nines because it's more pure. Only stack four nines, no three nines fine. No 90%, 40%, or 80%, 90 percent 99.99%. That's it. Game over. Shut up. Leave me alone. And by the way, just in case you're one of the people who actually do have a preference, please feel more than welcome to pick yourself up a DYDSS 3 nines fine or 4 nines fine t-shirt or hoodie. 
available in a bunch of different colors. And there's even one for those of you who prefer 90%. Link in the description. And now for a couple quick examples of three nines fine silver coins and also some four nines fine silver coins. You may be familiar with some of these coins. They're some of the most recognizable pure silver coins on planet Earth. Starting with the number one most recognizable, most desired, most sought after, most trusted, most respected, one troy ounce pure silver coin in the world, the American Silver Eagle, the beautiful Silver Eagle. This would be a three nines fine silver coin. Now what's funny about the Silver Eagle being a pure silver coin, regardless of three nines or four nines, it's three nines, pure silver. But if we were to take the gold eagle, the American gold eagle, and if we took a peek at its purity, it's not a three nines fine gold coin. It's not even a four nines fine gold coin. It's not a pure gold coin. I'm gonna put a little picture up on the screen right here and as you can see, it's not even 92% pure gold. And that's because it has a little bit of silver and a little bit of copper mixed into the gold. It still contains a troy ounce of gold, or whatever denomination it is, half a troy ounce, quarter troy ounce, a tenth of a troy ounce of gold, but the coin itself is not pure gold. And if you were to weigh it, you would find out that it weighs just a little bit more than a troy ounce, a half ounce, a quarter ounce, or a tenth ounce. That's how much gold it has in it, but it weighs a little bit more because of the silver and the copper mixed in. Just to make it a little bit more dense, a little bit more durable, a little bit harder of a metal, because gold is a relatively soft metal and it can scratch up pretty easily. But moving away from gold, because that's not what this video is about, I just wanted to point that out while we were talking about the silver eagle, talk about the gold eagle. Another three nines fine silver coin would be the Philharmonic, the beautiful Austrian Phil Harmonic. This right here is a three nines fine pure silver coin. Similar to the Silver Eagle, one of the most recognizable one troy ounce pure silver coins that exists. The beautiful Austrian Phil Harmonic. Now what's funny about this coin right here is when I first got started stacking and I first discovered the Phil Harmonic, I don't know what it was, but I just wasn't a fan of the way that it looked. And I actually stayed away from the Philharmonic. And then come, I think, Black Friday or Cyber Monday of 2018, after I had been stacking for almost a year, I found a really rock solid deal on Silver Philharmonic. So I ended up getting a whole package of them. And ever since then, that's really all I needed. Because the rest is history. I've been stacking Philharmonics ever since. Next on the list of three nines fine silver coins that you're probably familiar with would be the British Britannia, another gorgeous coin, at least on this side of the coin. Gotta love the Britannia. Everyone loves the Britannia. I don't know if I've ever met someone who wasn't a fan of how this coin looks. Now what's interesting about the Britannia, similar to the Silver Eagle, one of the most trusted and respected pure silver, one troy ounce coins in existence, everyone has always gravitated towards the Britannia. And now that we're in 2021, they have a slightly modified look, slightly enhanced, slightly improved. In fact, it looks pretty much exactly the same, but it has this nice wavy background. And in the bottom left, it has a new security feature. So depending on how you look at the coin, it could be the Trident logo or it could be a padlock. And anyone who knows me knows that I'm a sucker for coins or even rounds or even bars that have security features. Whether it be something like that, that the Britannia has now, or whether it be the Mint Mark SI security code on the back of Sunshine rounds and bars, or whether it be a serial number, or whether it be something else. Anything with a security feature or anti-counterfeit technology or proof of authenticity. That's a coin, that's a round, that's a bar for me. Last one on the list, and by the way, there's several others. I just wanted to share a couple of quick examples. Last one on my list of three nines fine pure silver coins would be 
the Krugerrand. This right here, a beautiful silver coin. This right here, absolutely gorgeous. Anything with an animal, or really anything that has to do with nature, I'm a big fan of. So aesthetically, I've always loved the Krugerrand. But the Krugerrand is actually one of the most trusted and respected pure silver one troy ounce coins that exist. Everyone loves the Krugerrand, the South African Krugerrand. Now what's funny about the Krugerrand is you can say the same thing about the Krugerrand as we just said about the Silver Eagle. Because if we were to take a look at the gold version of the Eagle and the gold version of the Krugerrand, come to find out it's not pure gold. It has other metals such as silver and copper mixed into it to make it a little bit more dense, to make it a harder metal so it doesn't get scratched up, so it doesn't get worn down over time, which I totally understand, but part of me wishes they would just stop doing that. Because let's be honest, who on God's green earth is walking around with a handful of gold Krugerrands or gold American Eagles in their pocket? I would say Probably absolutely zero people. It's all locked up in the safe or hidden in the house somewhere. These are not in circulation, so we don't really have to worry about them getting worn down over time anymore. A lot of them are kept in airtight capsules or kept protected some way, somehow. So there's really no need to put other miscellaneous metals in our gold coins anymore. However, if you would look at it from a different point of view, by simply picking up these gold coins, in a weird way, you can kind of argue that you're also getting some free silver and copper with the gold that you're converting your dollars into. So, take it or leave it. I don't know if that makes sense to a lot of people out there. It's kind of how I see it. But anyway, now let's quickly talk about a couple of four nines fine, pure silver coins. Starting with the kangaroo. The beautiful kangaroo. You don't even need to be told where the kangaroo is from. Pretty sure we can all automatically assume it's an Australian coin, which it is. The beautiful Australian kangaroo. I've always been a fan of the kangaroo. I've always loved the way they looked. I've been stacking them since 2018. Big fan. Love the kangaroo. And what's funny about Australian coins is they have... Equally as popular silver coins, four nines fine, pure silver coins, such as the kookaburra, such as the koala, as a couple of quick examples. Now, what's interesting about those are they're a little bit more collectible. Every year they change a design, but one thing stays the same. They're four nines fine, pure silver. Whether it's the silver kangaroo that looks exactly the same every year, whether it's the silver kookaburra or the silver koala that changes the look every year, four nines fine, pure silver. Now, the last coin I wanted to talk about is also a four nines fine, pure silver coin. And this would have to be probably the most popular coin to talk about behind the silver eagle, that is. And it would be the maple leaf, the beautiful maple leaf. Once again, like I just said about some of the other coins we talked about, Anything with an animal or anything with nature, the maple leaf or anything with a tree or a bird or anything like that, I'm always automatically a big fan of. In Canada, I don't know what it is, but the Royal Canadian Mint, they just have a knack for coming out with beautiful coins. Of course, one side of the coin, the other side of all of their coins, eh, not so hot. <laughs> but the side of the coin that we admire they just do an excellent job. They have the Birds of Prey. They had so many different series and collections and different pieces like the Kraken, for example, which you can see on screen right there. They just do an excellent job of coming out with designs for coins. So you got to give props where props are due. Even though we're not that big of a fan of the queen side of the coin, just keeping queen side down and look at the beautiful designs that they put on essentially all of their coins. Big fan of the Canadian Maple Leaf, one of the most popular coins to talk about. Now, between all six of the coins that I just listed, whether it be the Silver Eagle, Philharmonic Britannia, Krugerrand Maple, or Kangaroo, 
if I had to put them in order, if I had to create a list from most desired, most trusted, most recognizable, all the way to least trusted, desired, and recognizable, from one to six, I would put the American Silver Eagle in spot number one. And to be honest with you, I would put the other five coins all tied for second place. That's how I've seen it since I first got started stacking coins. Now, when I first got started stacking in general, I was stacking rounds exclusively. I was just going after generic, secondary market, basic silver rounds, nothing fancy. Lowered the premium a little bit, and I was still focusing on acquiring physical silver content. That was the priority, and it still is. But a couple months down the road, I started focusing a little bit more on coins, just because they have a little bit more notoriety, they're more popular, they're more trusted and respected, etc., etc., etc. And I prioritized the Silver Eagle over any other coin because, well, number one, it's the coin of my country. And two, I believe it's the most recognizable pure silver one troy ounce coin in existence. So that has been the foundation of my stack since about halfway through 2018. It still is to this day, even though I haven't picked up even one Silver Eagle since February of 2020. Haven't picked up one. Not one Silver Eagle, and it's my favorite coin. Haven't picked one up since. In addition to it being the foundation of my stack, the base of my stack, I had been saying since 2018 that second in command is a variety of different coins. Now, for me, I have more Maple Leafs than any of the other coins, but they're all tied for second for me. The Maple Leaf, the Kangaroo, the Philharmonic, the Britannia, and the Krugerrand, those are some of the most popular pure silver one troy ounce coins that I own. And the overwhelming majority of my coins are Silver Eagles. The second most popular for me would be the Maple Leaf. But they're all second in command. That's how I've done it. That's how I'll continue to do it. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. Between all of the coins that I talked about in today's video, which one is your favorite out of all six? And do you have a preference between three nines fine and four nines fine when it comes to the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm also posting exclusive VIP-only adventure vlogs. New one coming on Saturday. I also do giveaways. You only have one day left to join the VIP club to automatically get entered. That's all you have to do. Simply become a VIP club member. That's it. That's all. Super easy. One day left. I'm also doing discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Or you can hit the subscribe button like Masvidal hit the canvas the other night. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel, for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Just posted one about ordering silver and gold online. Posted one about recovery stocks. Posted one about tech stocks. One about the credit card crackdown. And a bunch of others. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit three thousand subscribers we just hit two thousand and i appreciate that and if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way please consider getting yourself some dydss merchandise of course we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies which are up for grabs along with a ton of other products t-shirts hoodies even stickers many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin. 
which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you it comes out of my pocket not yours and of course last but not least the brand new dydss karen free zone t-shirt hoodie sticker and coffee mug my name is not karen any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated and I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again between three nines fine pure silver and four nines fine pure silver do you have a preference does it matter at all to you the level of purity because they're both technically pure silver whether it's three nines or four nines whether it's 99.9% .9 pure or 99.99% pure. They're both pure silver. And even more importantly, they're both silver. Silver is silver at the end of the day, but if you were asked the question, if you had to choose between a four nines fine and a three nines fine pure silver coin, which would it be? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.